Hey guys, and welcome back to another brand new video. So, in front of me, I have what most of you have been waiting for for such a long time. In front of me, I have my 2014 clone army, and to be honest, it has grown quite a bit since last year's clone army. Uh, loads more sets. So, without further ado, I'm not going to keep you guys waiting, and I'll go ahead and start reviewing the army. So guys, this is it. This is my 2014 clone army. It has grown quite a bit since last year, since my 2013 clone army. I think last year I had around about 135 clone troopers. The total for this year is just over 205 clone troopers. So that's over 70 extra clone troopers. However, this year I am including my EP3 clone troopers, as last year I did not. And I thought, well, they're clones, why don't, why don't just include them? So I have. Because, like, uh, the 212 Troopers are sort of Episode 3, the 41st Legion Clone Troopers are Episode 3, and then the other clones back there uh, are Episode 2 Clone Troopers. So I thought I'd just throw all my clones in. Um, now, besides all this, I do have one extra Clone Trooper, but uh, I got it with a Lego set I bought recently, and it's... Uh, just a regular clone trooper, but it has an episode 3 helmet. So what I'm planning to do is buy an, an ep uh, a clone trooper helmet and then buy an episode 3 uh, body to match it. So I'll have an extra episode 3 clone trooper and an ep extra uh, regular cl uh, Clone Wars clone trooper. So let's get straight into this. So over here we have uh, 40 regular clone troopers, uh, which is in a 5x8 formation, which is quite large, um, and then behind that we have nine episode three clone troopers, um, we got two pilots, three shock troopers, one regular clone trooper, uh, two scout troopers, and one, I think, commander trooper, whatever he's called. Now, I know this clone trooper is, uh, sort of a keychain clone trooper, but the keychain broke off him, and I just use him as sort of a regular clone. Now over here we have my 501st clone army. We have eight regular 501st clone troopers, two 501st pilots, uh, the new Captain Rex and Anakin Skywalker uh, sort of leading it. Then over here we have got eight uh, 212 clone troopers, then eight 212 airborne troopers. We've got a clone army's customs uh, EP3 uh, Commander Cody next to uh, one of the brand uh, brand new Obi Wan's. Then over here, we have 16 uh, 41st Legion Clone Troopers and then 41st Legion Scout Troopers. Uh, these are from the new Battle Packs. So pretty much each row is a Battle Pack. Um, so I've got 8 of those Battle Packs in total. Uh, as of the minute, I'm planning on getting uh, some more to sort of build up the numbers. And also the set, in my opinion, is actually pretty nice. So then over here, we have uh, 12 sort of AF Troopers. And then 12 uh, sort of Ethkoff troopers or Horn Company troopers, whatever, however you want to call them. Uh, then we have 24 Bomb Squad troopers. This is all from uh, the same battle pack. Again, each row is a battle pack. Actually, no, it's not. Each two, each row is two battle packs, sorry, because uh, you don't get uh, eight troopers. But anyway, then over here we've got nine gunners. So I had one more gunner from last time. We got... Uh, Three sort of episode three clone troopers, but the new Clone Wars variant of this, which is pretty cool. Three Ark troopers, and then three Ark troopers to go along with the Ark troopers. Six uh, plain Clone Wars pilots, one Senate guard, and three like sort of commander guard, and then three just Senate guards. Then we have two sort of commanders uh, from the eight plain regular episode two clones. Two custom officers, with, but they've both got clone faces, even though the other one's hard to see because he's wearing a hat. Then we've got a Bark Trooper from the new sets, then we've got a Scout Trooper. And then over here we've got our commanders and uh, captains. So we've got Commander Fox, we've got one of those, uh, Commander two Commander Grease, one Commander Cody, and then three Captain Rexes. So in total I've got two Codys and four Rexes. Um, I've just got the two other variants of them over here. Uh, then over here, we've got Chancellor Palpatine uh, stood in front of sort of the Jedi's. So we got 
uh, Chance of Palpatine, then Luminara and Dooley, two Barisoffies, one Plo Koon, two Ahsokas, three Anakins, and one Obi-Wan. Well, we got four Anakins and two Obi-Wans, but I've sort of put them over there with their squadrons. Then over here, we've got two clone, uh, clone troop, two Jedis, sorry, that uh, were in Palpatine's arrest. I don't know their names, but um, I included them because they are Jedis. Uh, we've got two Mace Windus, two Yodas, one Kit Fistu, and two Stasilis. Now, I do have two Kit Fistus because I got one from uh, oh, the old Obi-Wan's booster ring, and then I got one from Palpatine's arrest. And I do have uh, another sort of Mace Windu from Palpatine's Arrest as well, with a different face. And also I've got quite a few more Yodas. I've got, I think, another set five of them bagged up, because uh, they came with the ATRT, but I don't need them, so I bagged them up ready to sell on later on. So that is it for all of my figures here. Uh, I'm not quite sure on the total of all of my figures in total. Uh, so we've got 205 plus all my Jedi. So I'll work it out by the end of the video, and then I'll include it in. So, time for the sets. Now, my sets have increased quite a bit since last time. So let's go ahead and start off over here with some of the battle packs. We've got eight sort of uh, Swamp Speeder battle packs uh, from the Kashyyyk, and then we've got three of the Artillery Cannon battle packs. Uh, then over here we got 12 speeder battle packs with one Jedi speeder which came from the Geonosian cannon set. Uh, was it the Battle of Geonosis? Anyway, it's one of the, the, the two sets that you get this uh, speeder in. Then we've got two of the 2011 uh, battle packs, the com command post from episode 2. Um, the ones where you get these two, one of him and one of him. And then you get two little droidicas as well. So, recently, if you haven't seen the video, I have, I did break those two sets down, combine them together into one big one, which actually looks a lot better than two little tiny ones, because they just look very poxy. Back to the video. So, over here, we've got three clone turbo tanks. And the mini ones, of course, I don't actually own the big one as of yet. I'm planning on seeing if I can get one. Maybe not just quite yet, uh, but I'm... Just trying to look around, find some quite cheap ones. Um, so then behind the clone turbo tanks, we have six of the 2009 Walker Battle Packs. Now, if I remember rightly, this was one of the first sets that this made people actually collect multiples of Legos. It definitely was for me. I got this set thinking, this is actually a really good set. Why, why can't I buy another? So I bought another, and then I ended up buying seven in total, but one's completely broken down. And seven would just be an irregular number for sort of the squadron, so I can leave it as that. Then we've got six five of first ATRTs, uh, which are all lined up sort of in a row. I was planning on getting some more, but um, you can see last week's uh, EMG sort of weekly video, uh, and you can I'll explain in that sort of why I haven't got more of those because I was planning on to. But then over there, over there, over here, we've got uh, Anakin's Jedi Starfighter, uh, the Clone Wars variant of that. And then to the right over here, we have the new Bark Speeder, um, which comes with the Battle of Seleucami. And we've got a Mini Republic Frigate, a Mini Republic Assault Ship, and then we've got the Bike Speeder with Sidecar. Now, these are all really good sets. That is it for all of my mini sets. Let's go ahead to my bigger sets. So over here, we have a... Uh, Z95 Headhunter, and then we've got a V19 Torrent, I managed to get my hands on one of those. And then, over here we've got two Republic gunships, two Republic shuttles, two ATTEs, one ATOT, and then with a the dropship over there. And then we've got one Venator, which is above the ATOT. And then we've got the Ultimate Collector set of R2-D2. Now, some of you might be wondering why these sets are on stilts. Well, Believe it or not, I have been spending the past about two hours putting together just the vehicles at the back and down the side. All of this here has pretty much been set up for about two weeks now. And I've been wanting to get this video done for so long, but every time I want to do it, I either need to do something for my mum or my dad or my nan 
or I've arranged to do something with my friends. So um, I haven't been able to do sort of this, which is actually... It was a bit frustrating, but now I've got it done. It's done. And the reason why this took two hours is because I had no entire clue how to fit all the sets in. I mean, I bought an extra three grey base plates to f put the sets on. So I've now got a 3x3 three three base plate uh, set up. And I've had to stand them on top because I literally just had no room. I even had to throw base plates down the side just to fit it all in. Uh, and I mean, this is all my sets apart from the one broken down uh, walker over there. Uh, well, those walkers, not that one in Pacific. Uh, so, it, I just had to find, like, figure out ways of how to do it. So I thought, well, I can do what I did last year and stand sets above sets uh, using uh, grade 2x4s. And also this year I included my R2-D2 because I thought, well, he is a part of the Republic um, sort of figures. And uh, you do get a small uh, R2-D2 with him. So I thought I'd just include him within my sort of clone army. Um, so that is it for this video. And I know I've had quite a few comments recently saying, you know, when's your clone army coming up? And I'm thinking, yeah, I want to, I want to do it. I need to, you know, I, I sort of need to do it to get it up online. But as I said previous, there's just been things in my way, not naming anything in Pacific, uh, or Pacific even. Uh, so, yeah. So that's it for this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to check out my channel. And uh, I've hoped you really enjoyed this video because it just looks amazing. So I'll give you like sort of a larger view of it there we go so thanks guys for watching please like comment and subscribe and i shall see you guys in another video thanks guys bye